Thank you very much. Good. Oh man, I want to talk about the Vasily fight yesterday. That was amazing. Yeah. Did you get yeah, a chance to see it? Yeah. Oh man, wasn't it incredible? I mean, yeah. everything just validated a lot of points you were trying to make when you went and gave him the title shot against Orlando Salido. A lot of people were saying like, oh, why is he making this fight? You know, and to see his skill level at this set, and he's only had three professional fights. I mean, yeah. hey, it, t it says a lot about the guy. Yeah, he's great. He's really, you know, don't have a, 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 a record like that in the amateurs without being great. Yep. So, uh, what is the possibility of us seeing him against uh, like the lights of Guillermo Rigondeaux? Yeah, I think that's a possibility. I don't know if Rigondeau will go up to 125. But that could be an interesting fight. I think he can handle Rigondeau. Oh, wow. I mean, it's something to see. I, I mean, Rigondeau, I mean, he needs someone to challenge him and bring the fight to him. So I think that, um, I think even HBO can bite on that one. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Now, um, since you're back, uh, you you and Oscar are going to be working together. I was kind of wondering, what about you and like like most of his fighters that he do have signed? Some of them are still represented by Al Heyman. Will that be a problem of conflict? If it's not a problem for them, it's not a problem for me. I don't give a shit who they represent. But I mean, I will have you know if it's a good fight, we can make the fight as a sensible deal. I'm all for it. I got no cold war mentality. That's <laughs> stupid. You don't do business that way. <laughs> well, that's why I'm here. That, that, that's the source bank of things. <laughs> yeah, well, I think his cloud is um is fading away. <laughs> yeah, well, couldn't couldn't happen to a better guy. <laughs> well. I think they have a little mess. I think I don't think that's the final thing um, that's that's gonna be resolved with him just walking away. I think because uh, I I know they have a court date now with the Canelo Alvarez situation, but I do think uh, is there a way Richard could still be liable for that? In your opinion, I I, I don't know. Richard is lawyered up. Oscar is lawyered up. Those are questions, but. To address oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll move forward from that. Manny Pacquiao. Now, I have heard about five, six different opponents for Manny Pacquiao. I heard Amir Khan is in the mix. I heard Robert Guerrero's in the mix. Um, Aguilari, uh, Chris, Ag the, the guy who just beat um, Provodnikov is in the mix. Are all these fighters in line to fight Manny Pacquiao? Well, uh, any fighter, first of all, we have to find out if the fighters can uh, contractually engage with Manny Pacquiao. And we'll be determining that in the next week or so. Uh, you know, I'm not going to book a fight for Manny Pacquiao. And I have contractual trouble and uh, a suit stop fight. I'm not going to do that. Right. So, uh, let me, you know, the guys I'm going to check out to see if they have some who might be good upon it, who fight over there, who might be uh, uh, considered, are uh, Madonna uh, uh, is a possibility. Uh, possibility is Guerrero, and a possibility is Amir Khan. Although I think Amir Khan has uh, contractual commitment to Showtime. Okay. So but I'm not sure. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. You know, you don't want to. You got to make sure that all these fighters, and then the situation that's over there. You know, they'll probably straighten itself out, then we can get a book. One thing's for sure, this fight's going to happen in China, right? What fight? Oh, oh Manny. If, if he ends up, uh, if, or the 
quite yet. We'll have half of the China Bugatti. Okay. Now, I know for a fact that Marquez does not really want to fight in China. So, so is that like a hiccup right there with him, or have you had a talk well, with him? Well, I, 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 I respect Juan Manuel, and uh, he's not wanting to fight in China, that's fine. But that's where the fight's going to be, so I guess it will be without Juan Manuel. Okay, I was wondering if you had a conversa had a chance to sit down and talk with him, and had a conversation with him about it. So I'm assuming that is a yes. You probably have had a conversation with him and gotten the same result. Um, no, I'm, I'm not sure. He never said to me that he doesn't want to fight Manny in China. He never, never said that to me. Okay, well, what are some of the um, options you may have for him? Well, you know, there you can have a rematch with Bradley as a possibility. You can have a fight uh, with Algeri or uh, Provodnikov as a possibility. A lot of good fighters around. Uh, Algeri is a possibility for Manny. That could be a possible fight. Uh, so there's a lot of balls bouncing in the air. Okay, and. No, Nito Dunyer, Nicholas Waters, we have got to get that fight going. <laughs> That's going to be, yeah. that fight is going to burn a hole through the floor. Yeah, that's a guy, I mean, I think that both boys want to fight each other. Yes, they do. <laughs> we got to get this one made. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, if they want to fight each other, it'll get made. All right, because I want to see it. The fans are, are starting to talk about it now. So, yeah, I know Nito wants this fight too, and that is a a very challenging fight for him. At one twenty six, this is going to be pretty good. So, are you, are you coming to Omaha? To Omaha? Oh my gosh, I might. Yeah, it's close to me. I can drive up. I'm in Chicago, so I can just get in the car and drive up. Yeah, it's a nice, an hour and a half away. Yep. So I can drive all the way to Omaha. I'll be there. I should be able to be sold out. It'll be a, a real great event. You better believe it. Terrence Crawford in there with your risk is Gamboa. I mean, Terrence Crawford is one of the best fighters I've seen amateur in a long time. I told, uh, I th who did I tell? Cameron Duncan, I believe. I told Cameron about him a while ago. Then later, like I, I guess someone else told him the same thing, and he was—he like, really believed it then. <laughs> but I'm like, I told him about him a while ago. But this guy was such a natural talent as an amateur to be so with a pro style to be that solid. It was just you couldn't overlook him. But this is not normally a hotbed for boxing talent, though. It's and to find him there was quite unusual. But he has revived boxing back into the like Midwest and Omaha and the people really behind him. They're supporting him. And then Gamboa, the Cuban Olympic fighter. So now you're in a situation where this is going to bring out the best in everybody. Gamboa's been gone for a while. He wants to prove that he is still the man to beat. And I'm more intrigued in this fight because this can go either way. Yeah. It's interesting fight. Well, all right. Well, I'll see you there. It's what the best. Well, no, you won't see me there. Oh, you're not going to that one? No, I'm rehabbing from my, from my, I had surgery. Oh, wow. I didn't from know that. My, from, yeah, that I had a knee replaced. Ooh, man. Well, I hope. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm hobbling around. Right. I'll be watching on television. Yeah, I know you. You tough as nails. You'll be back walking again <laughs> by next week. <laughs>